just wanted to give you a bit of a update on the bike what's changed what's uh, perhaps new on a bike so a couple of things to mention i'm running a unit 31 fabrication screen i have put it through a little bit of hell <laughs> that's why you got a few scratches on it but it's uh it's proven to be very durable uh, in the screen you can see that i'm running a led light that's the nali s4 i believe also you can see that uh, my wheels are narrow rims so basically i'm running hand hubs with an exo rim which is basically just like an enduro rim but it's uh, far stronger so my suspension right it's 265 millimeter it has been revalved it has been reworked resprung so it's just giving me quite a bit of a clearance you can just about see uh, triple clamps from 4k party speciali they are very nice they allow me to run the uh, scott steering dampener which is up here but we'll get to that point you can have a better view when we go to the cockpit so i'm also running a carbon kevlar bash plate this bash plate <laughs> had a lot of beating i've been running it for pretty much a year i ride it everywhere and i ride it on the rocky terrain so i don't really uh, i don't really worry about it it has been taken some beatings and it's still working pretty well right what you can also see it's a clutch cover it's the billet one from triple clamp with a heavy enduro sign on it what you can also see just about there i am running a different oil tank so this is a low oil tank when the battery was because my battery it's relocated it's obviously in a different place right under the seat because of the bash plate you can't really see it a lot but you can just about see a cap for the oil tank just under the exhaust i am running a normal exhaust i do have a rally exhaust on the shelf i just prefer the sound of twins to be honest and uh yeah it's a personal preference it just sounds lovely uh add a little mod it's a second fan kit from 4k party speciali as well and i'm also running a a, crep, a cherubis caps so i got a adapters made so they screw on cap basically just a small little bit a guard for your brake at the back i'm also running a caliper and the swing arm from 990r it allows me to use a floating disc if i want to uh, the reason for changing a swing arm it's basically a stronger swing arm than the original 950 that bit by the shock it's empty on a 950 and this just makes it slightly weaker obviously which i haven't mentioned but you can clearly see that i am running a single disc i believe it's better for me when i'm riding off-road what i also have it's a super enduro master cylinder so that's giving me extra feel again you got a narrow rim at the back so that's 2.5 inches super sprock sprocket which is quite nice it just matches nicely it's a little bit lighter yeah it is uh, quite expensive but it looks very nice as for the tail i am running a different tail light so basically i removed the oem stuff and this is a bit more of a rally design so you got two lights in there and you can also see a triple clamp motor or sub, little subframe strengthener in there just here just giving a little bit of extra rigidity uh, as for the seat this is like uh, more of an adventure seat i do have a s seat which is basically flat i do use it when i'm racing so i got a couple of different seats on the shelf to be honest uh rear shock it's 265 millimeter as well revalve resprung so it's all pretty much personalized to me uh, i do run facet fuel pump which is just about here you can just about see it next to carbon plate and triple clamp motor engine cover uh, pretty much mandatory oberon clutch slave so you can see that as well i do run samco hoses also but you can't really see them very well from here you can just about see a little bit in there so that's samco hoses and samco clamps uh, my bike it's a little bit 
uh, let's say modified so my you can't really see it here well maybe just about my rectifier it's up here because I had quite a few changes to the bike and the main one it's the oil tank it just moved uh, it just basically moved the weight a little bit lower and we shaved a couple of kilograms off the tank so as for the cockpit I do run wider bars that's a uh, rental fat bars they are quite wide they are a bit thicker I do prefer them KTM power parts hand guards as well mandatory Scott steering lamp now it's very useful once you get used to it you don't really want to be without it and as you can see I got a setup with the tablet so I'm running this to train navigation and this is a set of navigation buttons that's the Bluetooth buttons from O2 riders and you can see I'm also running a kind of a rally grips as well so just up here this is basically a custom bracket made by Unit 31 Fabrications. So you can use your, you use this to basically put your phone in there, tablet. It just really depends what you prefer and what you run. Also for the other modes, I don't think there is anything else except the battery. The engine is stock. I'm not doing anything to the engine because the engine runs sweet and I'm quite happy with that. The only thing that I will probably do at some point, it's put a 990 engine in there and carb it the only reason for that is because I got a spare one on my workbench so that would potentially be a mod at some point hi guys so glorious day we're in Walters Arena me and Philip today two 950s he's just getting ready in the van <laughs> So we got two races today, morning one, two hours, and we got three hour night race, so that should be pretty interesting. And weather it's pretty good, it's cold, <laughs> it's really cold, but it's quite nice. So let's crack on. There you go, that looks like a row of big bikes. You turn the race, adventures, find all sorts. I'm made from bikes and byways on the BMW. Yeah, it seems to be a big bike land.
Back out again. Didn't work out that well. So I fuck it out. This place is doomed or us both us are doomed, I don't know. This time his clutch failed. Uh, my clutch lever lap number four was so stupidly stiff that uh, I had to push it out with the fingers as well as push it in. So that didn't work very well. All in all we were happy people anyway, I think. Yeah. Here. And to top that all off, my bike started working on one cylinder only, so